Geto. At first we see him as a kind and warm character, who wants, in opposite of Gojo, protect and fight for the weak. He saw it as his duty as a Yuzu sorcerer to do that. Nothing else would make sense, right? But still, after all what he experienced, he finds another meaning for himself. Destroy everyone and create a world where only Yuzu sorcerers live. How could someone like him reach this point? Where he throws everything away he believed in and stands for. Let's take a look at the downfall of Geto Soguro. I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper As we know, everything started with an escort mission from Gojo and Geto for the Star Plasma Vessel Rico. Toji comes up, first defeats Gojo, and as we know, not for long though, and then kills Riko in the front of Ghetto. Ghetto in that moment couldn't protect Amanai, someone he swear to protect, someone that become in short time Ghetto's and Gojo's friend. They like her so much that they gave her the choice if she really wants to finish the mission. Uh, sorry, um, I have to collect myself, the scene always hits different, so yeah, where was I? Right. Rika and Gojo are dead. Geto wants to show why he's one of the strongest and unfortunately loses. And in that moment, it begins a little bit. Geto not only lost the fight, he lost his status, something that defines who he is. He is no longer the strongest. This confidence is completely gone. And that Gojo finished off Toji easily with his new unlock powers will not make the situation for him any better. After all this, we come maybe the, to the most important part of Geto's downfall. Something that will haunt him. When we saw Gojo carrying the body of Riku out of the building from this religious extremist things, he saw all people clapping. Clapping to the death of a teenage girl. Geto in that moment sees the ugliness of the weak. How he call it. The inhumanity from humans. He questions his own reason why he do all of this. Are non-sorcerers really worth it that I maybe give my life for them? Geto gets here existential crisis. And that one of his friends, Haibara, who was a happy and kind and full of life person, also die for these monkeys just drags him more down. And he loses himself more and more. Geto gets hit after hit. He falls in a dark hole with no ground to see. In such situations, you need someone to talk to. A friend who listens. When Goto said in JJK Zero that Geto was his best and only friend, the same goes for him. Gojo was his best and only friend. But Gojo was not there. Gojo was not like Geto. Gojo didn't fall into a dark pit. He became stronger out of this whole situation. And because of this, he was sent in solo missions. He was never there for Ghetto. Ghetto was alone and have to go to missions alone. Because Shoko doesn't want to go into dangerous missions. But for a man in his capabilities, these missions are the only thing that he can do. Ghetto is all alone in his own darkness. No one comes to help him. And he sees his only friend rising to new heights without him. He loses again the status as the strongest or be a part of the strongest. Because Gojo becomes much stronger, faster than him. I think many can relate to this feeling. When you see your old friends change their lives, find good jobs, get promotions, get married. And there is you who not even close to that. Who still thinks about in which direction you want to navigate in your life. And in the same thing Geto is in, he has to find his new and own way. And a little disclaimer here, I just want to say this. If someone goes to the some kind of feelings, take your time. You will find your way and if it takes longer as for other persons, it is completely fine. You will find your way, I promise. So back to the topic. Geto questions his reasons why he is a huge sorcerer. Geto lost his status. Geto cannot protect the weak and despise humans now. And he lost his only friends. He is all by himself now. But what finalized his decision 
to become what he has become was the talk that he had before Haibara's death. In a really depressive state, he talked to Yuki, a special great sorcerer. They talk about how to end this whole create and curses run wild thing. As we learn in this conversation, curses are created because normal humans cannot control their cursed energy. So option one is to teach every human to control their cursed energy. Or what is Geto's option or suggestion to kill every non-sorcerer. And Yuki say that is an option. She gave it a it's possible touch. Even if she didn't mean it in that way. For Geto, who was in a complete I hate this world mindset, it gave him a new option, a new way that he could take. With all the other things come together in this conversation, Geto become a very dangerous cocktail of hatred. And the scene in the village was the last drop where he sees the little children abused in a cage and the villagers act like fucking inhuman pieces of shit how Geto already saw him or sees them. He destroyed the village and killed everyone, even his own parents, because from his standpoint he cannot even ex can exceptions from his parents because they are in the same status as every everyone else. Geto has now a new meaning in his life. And most importantly, he got a reason for it. The last scene where Gojo and Geto met, where Geto asked the question, are you Satoru Gojo because you are the strongest? Or are you the strongest because you are Satoru Gojo? Geto finds his reason. After, after all the darkness, he finds something that fulfills him. A way to change the world for the better. This is the outcome of this whole situation for him. The only thing that Gojo finds is strength, nothing more. And he is all alone, like Geto, but in a complete other mindset. What separates a hero from a villain is how they deal with the pain they experienced. And we see this very well how Gojo is handling the whole thing. He becomes stronger and fights for, still fights for the weak and takes this moral compass that Geto gave him. And Geto takes a complete other approach. But sometimes a villain can be saved if someone was there for them. Geto needed a reason to go on. And the darkness in his head gave him one. And in the end, he was left behind in a standing ovation. Yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this was my try to get a bit more deeper into a character. Uh, I hope it was good. So in the end, I want to say if you like it uh, or have any suggestions how I can make things better, write it down in the comments. I would really appreciate to read it. So the last thing I can say is have a great day. And remember, you are never alone and you will get somewhere. I promise.